23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I'm Callum Palm, and here's a look at what we're following on this Friday. California's power grid operator is asking residents statewide to conserve energy for the second day in a row. Today's flex alert begins at 6 p.m. and runs until 9 p.m. You're asked to do things like turn off the thermostat if you're not home and avoid using major appliances. Hold off doing laundry or running your dishwasher, things like that during the three-hour period. The governor also signed an emergency proclamation allowing power plants to increase energy capacity to help deal with the extreme temperatures. Cooling centers across the county are providing some relief for this extreme heat. Every center in the county is open today except for the one in Fraser Mountain Park. They open at 1 p.m. and they close at 8 p.m. We have a list of the cooling centers throughout our county on our website, turn to 23.com. Delano's police chief is vowing to continue his work promoting mental health support for police officers even after he retires. Speaking at the Community Law Enforcement Liaison Board meeting last night, Chief Robert Navarre says it's important for officers to reach out if they need help. I started down this path about 20 some years ago and um, back then it was a lot uh, tougher topic. In fact, uh, I was mocked pretty regularly. Uh, back when I first started down this road to uh, remove the stigma from officers who reached out for help. But I recognized back then having lost uh, a good friend to suicide and uh, a dispatcher to suicide, that this was something that, that had to be addressed. Chief Navarez has been in law enforcement for 35 years, the last three of that serving as the chief of police in Delano. And now 23 ABC's chief meteorologist Elena Rusk has a check of our Friday forecast. Well, good morning. Yesterday, just incredible. Most of Kern County, including the Valley, the Kern River Valley, the Kern Desert, and even Tatchby topped out in the 100s. And then we had areas of measurable rain overnight. Now that moisture is still wrapping around this high pressure, but it's a very hot, dry air mass. So yes, the moisture comes in, but most of it evaporates, especially as the temperatures climb even hotter today. So let me know if you get some of these thunderstorms tracking through your area throughout the day and into tonight. But again, with temperatures like this, possibly 105 to 110 in many locations, we see a lot more evaporation today than yesterday. And even yesterday was so impressive. We got any measurable rain at all. Heading into today and tomorrow, we are close to to breaking records or easily breaking them. Sunday is still very hot. You don't see seasonal 90s until next week. Be safe out there. That'll do it for this update. Have a great Friday.